Hey guys, how's it going? Come on in, come on in. My name is Thomas Brush and I make indie games for a living. We're gonna jump inside of Unity today and we're gonna do some fun stuff with the spider enemies. So come on in and let's jump into my next game, Father, and get started. By the way, guys, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. I used this exact 2D game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and then I got to play it in front of his subscribers, which was really awesome. Um, so download that. Use it however you want. It's my treat to you. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we've got, guys. Let me show you what we're working on today. So... Originally, the way that spiders detected you is if you walked into their sphere or you walked into their box collider trigger, they would notice you and then they would come and chase you. The problem is, is when you're in an interior level and there's walls, those walls aren't stopping the box collider from going through it. Thus, spiders are figuring out where you are and you can't hide. If you're like, you know, one unit away from them on the other side of a wall, they're going to see you. So what we're doing here is we're creating some sort of ray casting system. And I'm not really that sure how industry standard this is, but we're going to go for it, okay? <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is hit play here and show you what we've got. All right. So <clears throat> If you step into, sorry, it's really slow today. If you step into the spider's little line of sight here, he will see you. Now, he's not pacing anywhere, so I could sneak behind him. Let me show you what's happening here. Look at that. So he basically has a scanning system that's rotating back and forth, back and forth using a sine curve. And I want that to be probably a separate game object just so I can create eyes and then ears and the ears can be wider right um, so let's go ahead and sort of disconnect this sort of sine curve ray cast here disconnect it from this script and create a new one and we're just gonna call it um, enemy senses or something like that okay because I'm getting a little little lost and I want to sort of separate it out and clean it up Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spider right here, and I'm going to go to sample enemy, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new script. Uh, let's call this enemy senses, enemy sense raycaster. I think that's that's probably a good one. Enemy sense raycaster. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to double click on that and open it up. Thomas, it's relieving to see your face. You're relieved when you see me? That's nice. All right, so we have this enemy script here, and I'm just going to plop this in right here, okay? I'm going to take that script, and I'm going to put it in here. So I want a nice, clean script that I can use over and over and over again on pretty much any object, <clears throat> okay? So there we go. And then we also need to copy over the variables so we have we're going to turn actually let's copy that and we're going to put it here okay we're going to put it right in this update here i will do it a foot fixed update and then we're also going to find the initial startup variables ah yes we've got all of these senses okay we're going to take those and then we're going to put them right here okay boop all right, so now basically this raycaster here. Ah, yes, <clears throat> we also need one more variable, and that variable is going to be a public enemy. Whoops, public enemy number one. <laughs> Come on, you moron. Here, 
There we go. Okay. So for some reason that's not working. Let's see. We probably have to import the enemy class. Yep. Or uh, namespace. Okay. So <clears throat> what we've just done is we've moved the ray casting script into a new script. And that script we're going to put inside of a, get, a, a game object. And then we'll put it inside of another game object for ears. So we'll have eyes that do this. So sort of back and forth like that. Then we're going to have ears that will just rotate entirely like this, right? Because you'll be able to detect what's behind you. We'll scale up the range of that ray cast if the player is shooting. If the player shoots or jumps or emits a sound, we'll scale it up, okay? So that it can hear it better. It's, it's a weird, I don't know if it's the way that the <laughs> AAA industry does it, but this way I'm going to do it here. <clears throat> Yes, I've lost weight. I've lost about 15 pounds. I was tired of feeling fluffy. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look here. This field of view, I, I, I think it needs to be the this right here. So max rotation, that's actually going to be field of view. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> so that's going to be field of view. Honestly, let's just call it max rotation, honestly. <laughs> so let's just call that max rotation, then we'll, we'll change this out. Instead of field of view, it's just max rotation, okay? So technically, we could make it 360, and that would allow for um, being able to hear things, right? Detecting around you behind the eyes, okay? So that's good. Field of view, that needs to be max rotation. Good, okay. Sight layer mask, we don't have that currently. So we need to go to the enemy script here and take a look and see where the site layer mask is. There it is. So we're gonna take that over. We don't need that anymore. We're gonna put it inside of here, okay? So we've got some uh, interesting variables here. Scan speed, that is actually going to be this right here. Okay, so we're gonna do 25 scan speed, okay? And we can make that pretty fast if we want to. Let's see here. Uh oh. I think we have a problem, my friends. I don't think we need this. So we also don't need scan speed direction. So we're going to remove that. So what this should allow us to do, <clears throat> and also this needs to be uh, enemy dot follow player. It's true, and this is going to be a requirement, right? So uh, if, yep, and enemy exists, then set it to follow the player. Okay, guys? So <clears throat> let's take a look and see if this works. So all we're doing right now is separating out that function into a new script because I, I would the way I would prefer to do this is put it inside of an empty game object. So I have this enemy site raycaster here. And it's gonna, it's just an empty game object, but it's going to emit that ray cast from it. <clears throat> and we can have two of them. We can have ears and we can have eyes, okay? So I'm not sure, again, if this is industry standard, but we're just gonna go for it anyway, okay? So enemy sense ray caster, there it is. Drag over the enemy, yep, now put that in there. The ray caster object is going to be itself, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's fine. So what we need to do here is, this is just going to be transform. Oh boy, I hope this works. Okay, there we go. All right guys, let's take a look here. Site layer mask is going to be set to the player and also to default. So boxes, walls, things like that and also the player. It'll detect and look for that stuff. Uh, everything else, I mean, pushables, that's fine, but nothing really, nothing else, okay? So that's good. <clears throat> so that's the site raycast script, and it should rotate itself and also emit a raycast from it and fire the follow function associated with the enemy if it touches the player. Okay, <laughs> so we'll see here. All right, let's give it a shot and take a look. So let's go to our game view here. We're gonna put this really small right here. 
hit play. There it goes. Good, okay, it's working. The next question is, will, if the player interferes with that line, will the enemy notice the player and begin following? So let's take a look. There we go. Come on, buddy. Very, very good. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that's awesome. I'm glad that's working. This is super important because when we're gonna have interior levels, we can't have box triggers, box collider triggers. We can't do that. It needs to be a ray cast because ray casts won't go through walls, right? So the player needs to be able to hide behind walls if he wants to. So that's the enemy sight ray cast. And this is cool because we can change the length if we want. How far do we want the player to be able to be seen? I think probably a value of eight is good. The scan speed is a little fast, so something like 15, but you wanna make sure if you double click on it that it's, um, that the script is utilizing time.delta time, which it's time.time. .time. I don't know. What's time.time? .time? The time at the beginning of this frame? I think it should be delta time. Okay, very good. Yo, Thomas, does streaming help you organize your thoughts better than usual? I feel like explaining all the steps plus having an audience watch is watching helps productivity. It certainly does not. Uh, I used to think it did, but I've, I've taken some time, days where I don't stream and I get so much more done. It's not against you guys. It's nothing against you guys. It's, uh, it's just the way it goes. Talking things through and teaching while you do it is, it takes like 20% of my brain space. So... All right, let's take a look here. What was I doing? Oh, let's see what the speed is. It's not even working. Son of a B. It's not even doing it. Is it because it's in a fixed update? I don't know. We're going to trust that that was fine. Time.time .time is fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That just broke everything. Thomas, what are you drinking? It's called Zevia. It tastes exactly like soda. It's just as good, but it has zero calories because it uses stevia as a sweetener. I drink about three a day. I really shouldn't because they're $2 a piece. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the scan speed really quick. The eyesight will never change its rotation, okay? So it's going to keep doing that over and over and over again. The hearing will just, uh, yeah, yeah, the hearing will be the same, but it will rotate a full circle, and it will be bigger. That's basically it. Um, but But we need a variable that says, hearing or is hearing and what that means is it's only going to listen for the player moving and the player jumping and the player attacking okay so here's why i separated them out into separate game objects because i have this little game object i'm going to call this enemy sense raycaster so there's the sight one I'm gonna hit apply all. So that's the site, and then we're also gonna have the hearing. Okay, enemy here, Raycaster. The max rotation is gonna be 360, okay? In fact, I would even go so far as to say, if the max rotation is 360, then just do a rotation, that's all. So we do this. Um, If max rotation equals 360, then we're gonna transform a certain way. Otherwise, we're gonna transform this way. Not the best script, but it should do the job just fine. So all we're gonna do is transform.local location equals max rotation times the scan speed. Yeah. 
times time dot time times scan speed. A and not even max rotation. It's just that. Okay. Uh, blah 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 blah. There we go. Boom. And that should do it. So if the max rotation is 360, it's going to be like, or it's zero. Yeah, if it's zero or 360, it's just going to be like, it'll ignore the, ro the max rotations and it'll just do a full circle. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. And also let's be able to pick the color because I, I want to be able to see the different, um, the different ray casts. So let's do a public color and then this is going to be sense color. Or really, it would be raycast sense color, something like that. Uh, raycast default color is probably better because it, it turns red when it sees something. Um, and then what we're going to do is put that here. Color. There we go. So we have the our our sort of raycast colors we can use. So we can choose two different ones here. Uh, no, no, no. It can be approximate. Yeah, if, if the max rotation is 360, it, it, yeah, it's not. It's not looking for it in a. It's it's um. It's sort of a static variable, so it, it can be 360. But good, good thinking. You you definitely want to be careful there. Okay, so sight. What color would would sight be, guys? I think sight is a green color. Uh, with a full opacity. And then hearing <clears throat> would be something like a orangish color to me. So there you go. So we have sight and hearing. Hearing is set to 360, sight is set to 45. Hearing should be a double or maybe even 20 times the sight length. And so we need to change that variable to not sight length, but just sense length, right guys? Sense length. Because there are senses, not just sight or hearing. Does this make sense what I'm doing, guys? It's not the best way to do it. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it using like the nav mesh and stuff. Uh, but I feel like this is reasonable. And what I'll do is I'll probably disable these scripts entirely if the player is way out of range, right? All right. So we've got our sight ray cast, and then we've also got our hearing ray cast. So the hearing ray cast, isn't that strange? So there's sight, and then hearing we're gonna do 100, 200. Well, we can even do 400. Could we do 1,000? Isn't that cool? Uh, I don't know if this is right the right way to do things, but I'm going to do it. So there's his hearing. So currently, as is, he he can hear everything. So if I walk over here, he'll come get me. There he goes. He heard me. So what was the values again, guys? Let's write them down. Can you guys remember, memorize these for me? The values for our spider were Let's see here. Sight was, half of you remember the sight here. Sight was a um, sense length of five and a scan speed of five. And this one was 15 and 1000, okay? I don't know why the speeds seem to vary between each one, but whatever. So what was this? Five. Uh, 1,000 and then 15 and then this one was I think the speed was what was it 10 all right let's take a look here now we're gonna need a, a boolean that says if 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 the player jumps then we'll turn it on right but if the player doesn't jump then uh, it's disabled so or, or attacking or anything like that okay so let's take a look here because I don't want him to hear me all the time. If I'm not moving, he shouldn't be able to get me. It's too fast. So there's hearing, it's super fast.
Okay, so 300 and then this one is 10. I think 300 and, okay, so five and then 300 is, is what I'll do, what we'll do here. And let's double check they remain consistent. That's important. Five and 300. It's really important that they remain consistent. If they don't remain consistent, we need to do time dot delta time. Where's our friend? There we go. All right, so eyesight and then hearing is working. Sweet. So there's a variable that we need to, to, to do here. And it's going to be, is ears public bull? is ears or uh yeah i'm fine with that is ears and it's gonna be false by default if it is ears then what we need to do is if there is a hit whoa yeah it's right here well we're, i'm gonna separate it down here because i like to keep my if statements nice and clean and separate because i get lost when there's just so many different uh, conditions up there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is if is ears and controller, um, uh, well, let's go to the enemy here. There's, it should be um, running, uh, shooting, shooting, give me a sec. There we go. Game manager player controller is shooting. I can remove that now. Um, if the player is shooting and th it is ears, then we can activate the the game object or or, or the uh, the follow this follow function here. Or if we're not ears, then do it. And this can probably be two of uh, two conditions that are either or. We could do is the player shooting, is the player sprinting, right? Are they jumping? Because that'll wake them up, right? Let's see, uh, has jumped. I don't really know what that variable does. Let's take a look and see what has jumped does. Before we even implement it here, I'm just gonna have a debug.log right here. Uh, look at that. We don't need that. Um, we're gonna have a debug.log right here. And all we're gonna do is game manager dot player controller dot what are we looking for? Has jumped. And we're going to say has jumped. And we're going to take a look and see what, what happens to this variable. There's also a lot of other debugs we're, we're getting here. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I remove them all so we can actually read that. I know, I know, I know. It's funny. That's funny. I love being corrected often. You guys are right. You're mostly, you're always right. And it's it's a practice in uh, humility and also confidence in a strange way. To uh, let you guys critique me while I do this. It's fun. So let's let's take a look at the console and see what that variable is. Has jumped is false. Has jumped is true. I think I think false is now playing. Yep. Okay. So 
That's great. So there's a has jumped variable. So as you're in the air, if you're in the air, the enemy is going to be able to hear you. They're going to say, oh shit. And they're going to come find you. So we don't want to do that. Or we do want to do that. So if game manager has jumped, there we go. And it's going to be in the or Bing! and then close it out. Bing! And then open this. Wait, 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 wait. If is ears and all of these, or, 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 or it's not ears. Guys, this is going to be fun. Let's take a look. I don't know why I'm scratching my chest, but whatever. I cannot wait to see if this works. All right, so there's our here, Ray. Is ears. Good. That's a strange, wonderful variable that's going to be very effective. You guys want to give this a shot and see what happens? It helps me to be able to look and see over top what's going on before I can get a good idea of this is going to work. Okay. So the ears are rotating. And also, let's double check the actual here radius. The here radius is kind of small, actually. So I can do all sorts of noise over here. And it's not going to hear it. But if I go right behind him, he's not going to find me. But if I swing my axe, ah, it's, this isn't going to work. I mean, it did there. The reason it's not going to work, let's think here. No, I, I think we're okay, actually. I was thinking the only variable that's a problem, potentially a problem, is is shooting. Because if it doesn't hit you right when you shoot, it's not going to hear you. But I think that the is shooting variable lasts like maybe two seconds. So I think we might be okay. Let's change the hear ray to 20. And then let's just apply this to all of our spiders. Now, let's just go ahead and play the game as if we were playing it and see how it goes, okay? Am I getting hurt? Let's turn on some, some audio here so you guys can hear. And by the way, Unity is gonna run a lot smoother when full screen, weirdly enough. It's because you're not running a lot of other stuff with the editor. Where's the D spider? There he is. So if I'm... Okay. Huh. Oh, he just heard me there. Okay, so it looks like that hearing is just, it's just not colliding fast enough. Okay, let's try out the sight. Let's make sure sight works. If sight works, we're good. Hearing is something that I think what we'll do is we'll we'll create some sort of window for like the time that that ray cast can hit you. So if you swing or you run or anything like that, um, I don't know, man. The 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 rotating ray cast is is causing problems here. What was the uh, your solution here? Sphere collide collision, then shoot array. Oh, interesting. That is a fun idea. So you just test and see. I see. Hmm. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. That's a really brilliant idea. So you're saying you, you shoot the ray in the direction of the player. Is that what you're saying? If it touches the player, then it knows it can see it. Okay, so how do we do this here? The first thing we wanna do, this is brilliant ideas, guys, brilliant ideas. So what you're saying is we can have a, we're just, let's just do, um, it really should only apply to hearing though. The sight scan is weird because I I want to I want to limit the field of view, you know. So it's like we don't want to just be able to shoot a ray back behind me. It needs to be limited. 
So that's why I'm struggling. Hmm. I kind of want to keep the site one the way it is. All right, Steak, you want to help me with this? Steak, if you want to help me with this, we can do it. Okay. So what I want to do is, is um, I want it to only be like this. So the Raycast can only move to the player's position within about like this. Okay. So it's basically like maybe 30 degrees, something like that. I don't know how to do that. So do you want to show me how to do it? And Gordon, if you want to help me out, well, you're, Gordon, aren't you, you're not supposed to be, Never mind. Okay, Steak, let's go. So the first thing we were going to do, like you were saying, is we want the, there to be a sphere collider, okay? There's going to be different sphere colliders. So for, for sight, the sphere collider is going to be bigger or, or, or um, smaller, okay? So what we'll do is we'll do a 3D or a sphere collider, okay? It's gonna be a trigger. And we're gonna scale up that radius to about right here, okay? So that's his sight, his line of sight, okay? Step one, done. <laughs> then we say on trigger enter, public void it's not even that i don't think i can't remember on trigger enter there we go uh on trigger enter you say if other if other dot game object equals the game my dog is farting right now dude whoa Whew. game manager dot i'm sorry i can't think give me a sec All right, game manager dot player controller. If it's the game object of the player controller, then we have just detected the player. Now we have to do a second one though, right? We need to say if uh, we're, we're going to set up a raycast here. If physics dot raycast, and then you shoot it in the direction of the player. The question is, how do you know how to do that? This is where I need help first, okay? So right here, we need to say that this is the transform dot position. This is the actual position of the raycast. The direction, how do we know what the direction is to the player? Um, out hit, so we need to do a uh, raycast hit here. There we go. So there's the hit. Site layer mask is good. Um, draw it. So that's going to be transformed at position. Transformed at direction, we still don't know. If hit compare tag is the player um, and enemy exists, then um, it's not going to be the same with the ears, is it? I think it should be true with ears. The same thing. Uh, if if it touches the player, yeah. Oh, let me think here. Hold on. We're gonna just work worry about sight for now, okay? Okay, I think I got it. So what is this what you're saying right here? Let's see. You're, so you're saying if vector two dot angle trans, what is, what is this? No. I 
I guess that works, right? Okay. Yeah, I think I think I think okay, I got you. I got you. Gotcha. Uh yes, yeah, say that's fine. Um so you're saying it needs to be game manager dot we're almost there. We're almost there. Transform dot position. And then minus spider position, which is this right here. So you're saying if it's smaller than the minimum angle, what is min angle gonna be? It's gonna be a uh a float, so we could do like 24. Is that what you're saying? So that's detecting if we're within that angle, right? So, I mean, I think, so check to see if the player is even within the line of sight. And then we're gonna, right here, we're gonna make this, um, we create a new variable and then we'll clean up later. Public float um, uh, sense angle max angle, and it's going to be 45 by default. That gives us about a little sort of square or like a wedge, right? So if it's smaller than or equal to it, then we can move forward with the raycast. Now, this actually needs to wrap the raycast. Okay? Because why even do a raycast if if they're not even within the right uh There we go. So that that should do it. Um if there's a hit Yeah, yeah. And we're comparing the tag. So this this is the only thing I need right here. So now I need to know what should this transform direction be? So it basically will just hit hit it out and test to see if it hits the player. If it hits the player, then it wakes up, right? Um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, shoot array at the player, Unity. Okay. Rays from the camera. No, 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 no. Shooting array at an object. So you subtract the two, and then don't you like you find the, uh, oh man. Oh, interesting. So is it this? And then the spider position or the player position? Interesting. Can you out, um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see here. Make sure you're using vector three instead of vector two. Where? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to, to, to find the direction that we shoot in. So I'm trying to shoot away from one object toward another to check if there are walls between the two objects. But your ray is defined with its direction as the position of the player. Directions are usually not positions. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's got to be a. How do you find the direction between two objects? You do. It's something like um, the subtraction of the two, and then you, and then. So it's a vector three. Uh, uh, ray direction, and it equals the subtraction of transform dot position minus um, the player's position. So game manager dot player controller, good. And then, uh, wait, 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 player controller dot transform dot position. And then you normalize it or something or magnitude. What's the word? What's the word? You guys know this. Ray direction equals whatever it is there. It's uh, 
you normalize it dot normalize or something I can't remember is it normalized and then you hit it in the ray direction here and then if it hits it then we just saw the player that's a much much uh, smarter way to go is that correct dot normalized is that what it is oh good Thomas just won so I think I got it um, so we don't need anything on the update anymore thanks to you guys this one raycast site we don't even need that pretty cool so let's just test this site I love you guys you guys are super helpful so for some reason we have a issue with something here what is it why do I need one more why would I need one more that's not true in any way why would it say that is there one down here oh there might be some sort of line code issue let's see replace vector 2 with vector 3 missing an open bracket after after an if let's see here I'm trying to find it oh there it is yep you're right way to go guys thank you thank you woohoo and we don't need this yeah that'll be actually after that there we go Bing. all right and then you said the, uh, which one needs to be a vector 3 you're saying one of them is wrong ray direction needs to be vector 2 well, I don't have a re vector two anywhere. Oh, that. Hmm. Okay. Okay, is that what you're saying, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we we replaced it. Good job, guys. All right. So now we're just gonna check and see if it does anything. It's gonna be hard to see because it's gonna be really fast. Um. So we'll give it a shot, see what happens, okay? This is always fun. Hello, Pepe, how are you, buddy? Guys, let's welcome Pepe to the chat. He's always nice, always here, always friendly. First thing I'm gonna do is just see if it works. Hey, buddy. Nope. Let's see. Is there a box collider? Or a sphere collider? There is a sphere collider. And it's that big old green one right there. That's the sight ray caster. The sense max angle is 45 degrees. Uh, the sight layer mask is player, pushable, and default. So, and the sense length is five we could do 10 if we wanted to so something's wrong thank you for blocking devish here all right let's test and see if the trigger's even occurring that's that's the next step so instead of checking for this angle so we're just going to sort of go down the line here guys we're going to say okay the uh the angle thing's not working. Yeah, I know, but I was within its angle and it still didn't work. See what I'm saying? So let's just test and see if this works. So this is, you enter into the trigger, it fires a ray cast. If the ray cast touches you, you're good. And, and it'll start following you, okay? So let's test and see. Give me some of that nose spray. Hey, steak, help me out. What's going on here? So let's test this. 
Nope. I wonder if, uh, yeah. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry, I have allergies. Um, this, let's just, let's see if it's even doing it. So if it's the game, the player controller game object, uh, maybe it should be compare tag. So we'll do that. We could just do this right here. We could try that. Oh. Huh. No, okay. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, yeah, yeah, so that should be good. So let's take a look and see. This even. All right. <laughs> so if we get into the trigger zone, the enemy should start following the player. If that doesn't happen, then we know that it's a trigger problem. That's always the question, isn't it? Does the trigger even work? <laughs> you know? That's usually a, a question. It might need to be trigger stay, honestly. It doesn't. Oh, shoot, you scared me. Oh, gosh. Why'd it take so long? <laughs> That really scared me. Let's try again. Why did it take so long? All right, so it works. Yeah, it needs to be stay for sure. Because if it's somehow, you know, I don't know. Yeah, because if the, if the player would enter into the sphere, but they were behind a pillar, and then they moved out of the pillar and were still in the sphere, it wouldn't see you. So it has to be trigger stay. Okay, that's that's one thing for sure. The next thing is, let's check this whole vector angle thing and figure out what's going on here, okay? <sighs> Guys, when you're testing something, it's really important if you make a change to test to make sure it doesn't break something because you never want it to get lost in the weeds. So we're going to make sure that trigger stay doesn't screw it up, okay? Gordon says, go change your pants. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. No comment. All right, I'm gonna wake my son up. I need to turn it down. <coughs> Changing the trigger shape helps the delay, huh? Really? <coughs> I want to. I want to test that and see what happens. Square or box collider, not square collider, box collider. Let's see what it does. Okay, let's make it 10 by 10. And interestingly, guys, this is actually beneficial because if you were to jump up here or something, he still could shoot a ray to test if you're there. So I like that. That's cool. Uh. Okay. Did I make it a, a, a trigger? I did not. Are there ways to automate the test? I don't know how we would make it faster, but maybe. So there's the, uh, this is a great approach. I really like what you guys are doing here. So you're saying that we, uh, you test the trigger first, if the player is within the trigger, then you just quickly shoot a ray to test and see, is it in my line of sight? If it's not, then just pretend it didn't happen. 
Nope, still a delay. Is it because I touch him? I don't know if it's working. Let's set it to 25 by 25 and just see what happens. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so that works just fine. Back to the code. What we're gonna do now, we're just gonna test this whole vector test. All this does is it says, <sighs> I'm trying to think here. If the, basically if the player position is within this transform position and it's smaller than the sense max angle, which is 45 degrees, then you can do it, okay? So that's, that's uh, basically means I, I should be able to sneak around him until I'm within his line of sight. This is what you guys said. I, I don't even know what that this means, but you guys said this, so let's take a, take a look and see if it actually works. All right, let's go. And if it doesn't work, you guys are um, lying. Here we go. Where's my little bitch? There he is. Yeah, let's try again. He he won't move. He won't pace anywhere because I've turned that off. So we need to test it one more time. He if he's just running into the wall, then we're gonna get problems. Cause I won't be able to test it. Okay, there he is. Are right, you guys ready? It works. Awesome. Very good guys. Way to go. I'm really, really, really happy about you guys doing that for me. Now the next thing is, yay. Hey, wait, 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 wait. All we had to do is change it to trigger stay. Is that really all we had to do? Yeah, that's all we had to do, you morons. <sighs> you people. And now it'll work. So raycast hit, raycast direction. You subtract this current position minus the player's position. You normalize that. That, that creates a direction. Then we're starting the position here. We're shooting in the, the direction. The sense length is set to currently five. So we're gonna set it to, it really should be the size of the collide, the, the, the sphere collider, shouldn't it be? So this is gonna be private. Uh, the box collider, the half of it. So what we're gonna do is sense length equals get component box collider dot size dot x divided by two. It could be any of them because it's all, all big square. And we're gonna make sure that if, if, if getting the component of box collider happens, then we'll do that. Otherwise, otherwise the sense length should be, you know, whatever you tell it to be else there is no else so um, let's just make sure we do a comment here if there is a box collider the sense length should really be half of it okay I doubt this is gonna work. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Okay, so there's a lot of things to, to question currently, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set that length to infinite, okay? So that we're, there's no question. So we're gonna set the length to infinite. That's the first thing. Okay, so it's gonna be, can we do infinite? Math.infinite, math.infinity, okay. The next is out right direction. Okay. I'd really like to ray cast. Hmm. I have a feeling it's the ray direction that's a problem. Let's take a look at his actual rotation. No, 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 I know. I know about the whole get component thing. We're not doing that right now. Um, that, that was all just testing and stuff. We're going to remove that. Okay, let's see. So... If it's set to infinity, does it work? I wonder where it's shooting the ray. It should be in the debug. I really want to be able to see the ray before it even interacts with me. So there's the player. Or the controller. Where's the controller? He's right there. So it should be colliding with that because we've got this big box collider here or capsule collider. Um, so it should hit. Let's see. What is it? Where's the actual? Okay, we're good. So it should be hitting. So the question is why is it not? casting that ray in that direction. Let's double check the spider here and take a look at his sight. Yeah. You don't think I have to normalize the vector for the direction? Really? STVS, you said that the angle calculation is not right. What should it be? What should it be? Go for it. So we don't need to normalize. Okay. We'll test that. Vector 3 direction equals player transform position minus trend. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, it needs to be flipped. Is that what you're saying? Okay. So it needs to be flipped is, is what you guys are saying. Okay. It's backwards. Okay. But it does need to be normalized. It has to be normalized, guys. Otherwise, it just returns a vector 3. Yeah, yeah. So we, we need to normalize this now. Ray direction equals ray direction dot normalized. Okay, so we need to normalize. Now, what were you saying about this being broken, Czar? Or uh, STPS? I hate this stuff, by the way. Anything, anything rotation and trig, I hate. What, what do I do here? Let's test it out while we wait. You said, you said that code has a bug, the one I was just highlighting, but it seems to work just fine. So we'll see.
There we go. All right, let's try it again. The angle is not signed here. What does that mean? Let's try again. Good, okay. So we don't want infinity, right? So we're gonna put this back where it was. So that's the sense length. The question is, is the sense length correct? Um, and it should be basically the box size divided by two. If we look at the actual box size though, we wanna make sure that it's sign means it's, it can be negative or positive. Change to zero to whatever you want. It goes from zero to one. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so the next thing is we want to make sure that the the length of that ray cast is correct because currently it was infinity. Okay, stake, give me give me how to use a dot product. I would really appreciate it. That worked. I'm not seeing any issues with it, guys. It seems to work just fine. All right, let's do what STVS is, is saying. Okay. So you're saying put it right here. And then uh, what you do is if angle is smaller than sense max angle. Okay, is that what you're saying? I appreciate it, by the way, guys. You guys are really helpful. This kind of stuff is not my forte. Yeah, we got an issue here. Signed angle. Um, there's no argument given that corresponds to a required formal par par parameter axis. Yeah. No, I don't know what you're talking about here. So, And then angle equals math. Abs dot angle. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Uh, signed angle has from and then to and then the axis. So for some reason, we're getting an issue with this here. Game manager dot player controller dot transform dot position minus transform dot position. Yeah, and then it needs one more. What would it be? I guess it would be transform dot up. I'm assuming that's what we would do here. So let's we could test it out and see. Yeah. We got an issue. We got an error here. Unexpected character. Hey, Jandrez. Andrej. Andrej. I can't remember your name. I always forget it. Okay, so we're getting an issue here because this is from pasted from Google. So we're going to need to write this on our own, unfortunately. Wait, wait, wait. That's it's from. And then it's to. I think you got it incorrect here. I think this needs to be this, and then this, and then that. Because it's from, to, and then axis. So this is the from, this is the to, and this is the axis. We're still getting an error here with this. Uh, 
just copying it over from Google was a mistake. Yeah, I, I don't think that's working. Um, this this shouldn't this is a this needs to be a from value, and you've got it currently set to transform forward. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I just don't understand this stuff very well. I'm learning, but I'm getting an issue here. So let's, I think I have to type it out again or maybe paste it on a notepad. I don't know. All right. It's just bad documentation. Well, let's see if it works. Okay, he saw me behind him. Oh, gracious. We were close. Okay. So it should be forward. Okay. So you're saying this, this absolutely 100% should be forward. So it's going to be instead you're saying this, and then this is transformed up forward. Okay. Okie dokie. We'll give it a shot, my friends. I appreciate y'all. He's just staring at me. Good. What? Okay, let's try one more time. Yeah, I don't understand any of that math, guys. That stuff is confusing. No, no, no. STVS, you, you're you're helping a ton. I'm glad you're here. There we go. It works. Way to go, buddy. Thank you. Now, um, steak, I don't know what a dot product is, buddy. And I'm not going to research and learn about it right now. I, although I've heard it, Jason's story, he shows up in the chat a lot and he'll, he'll do that too. No, I have not, Andrej. I have not watched his video. All right, guys, next thing we want to do is, um, hearing. Okay. So that's, that's sight. What I'm going to do is I, I want to make sure, let's see here. How would hearing work? Hearing would mean, yes, okay. So hearing would be um, the sense max angle. What would it be? 360? Is that correct? It would be 360? But there's certain variables that aren't used here. Let's see if max rotation is. Okay, so max rotation is not used, so we'll remove that. This is um, working, so remember we want to do that here. So we're just doing some cleanup here. Uh, public bo uh, box collider, box collider. I would say, you know, if we're going to use an enemy sense raycaster, it should certainly require a box collider. You know, if box collider exists. Uh, or if it doesn't exist, there it is. All right, you know what? Let's just, uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll make sure that you absolutely have to have it. And then we'll just say box collider.size. Okay. 
There we go. So that's good. Any other variables we need to delete? Sense length. Um, enemy, sense max angle, sense or sight layer mask, good. Raycast default layer is ears. Um, is hearing. Uh, I think is ears is the best variable name I could think of. Um, so that's good. Okay. So that's all set up. Let's go ahead and put the box collider in there. All right, guys, one of you asked, Thomas, what's your recommendation for physics math? I have no idea. This is not my thing. I'm terrible at this stuff. That's why I hired somebody to do most of this. I'm just sort of tightening up the screws. Okay, the next thing we want to do here, guys, is we go to our actual spider variant here, and then we go to our enemy site raycaster. We're just going to drag that box collider in just like that. The site raycaster, I'm actually going to apply this. Yeah, there we go. So it's nice and um, perfected. Okay. The, the site is a. Uh, it could be. It could definitely be bigger. So let's just test this out like uh, a little bit more. So maybe twenty-five by twenty-five by twenty-five. So there is our site. Yeah. I think 35 by 35 is probably the, the best result here. So if I get to the spider and I'm about right here, like that, he should be able to see me. That's, that's what this means. And I'm not going to worry about making the z-axis taller right now. Okay. No, is heard wouldn't be right either. Um, is heard implies that it heard something, and that's not what it is. It's an ear. I'm saying, what is it? What is it? What is it? It is an ear. There we go. Good. Okay. So sight looks. So sight works great. Hearing is going to be identical. However, it's going to require certain things. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're, and by the way, I wasn't trying to be mean about the is hearing thing. I was just saying, in my case, what I'm saying is, um, is ears, is it's, it, you're declaring it as a noun. So I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so there's our sight raycaster. Then we're going to do our hearing raycaster. So this is enemy ears or enemy hear raycaster. And this one, it's not really a raycaster anymore, is it? It's more of a trigger zone. Um, but this one would be like 100 by 100. Right? I do care. I care a lot. So we're going to do like 25. I don't want it being ugly and nasty. It, it needs to be a sphere. Sorry, guys. It needs to be a sphere. So we're going to go into this one here and replace it. It just needs to be a sphere. That's just ugly. Then we go back to here, and then we go to here. We say sphere collider. There's a certain point where it's like the size is ridiculous. Um, Jeb, stop farting. What is wrong with you? You need to poop, don't you? Staring at me like you're proud of it. So radius sent to 0. 0.5. Okay. What if it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that better. Um, come on. So now all we got to do is just use a very value of radius, and that's it. You farting little mother effer.
Here's why I want I want to argue about variable names. Here's why hearing player doesn't work either. Hearing player, if it was false, you would think, well, I guess that the enemy can't hear the player. Um, but then you would also say, oh, it means that the player hasn't entered the trigger zone yet. No, it, it should be, it's an ear. It hears sound. Or like we could, we could, the variable we could make it, hears noise. But even still, the problem there is you would go, oh, so it can hear also in addition to seeing. No, it's an ear. <laughs> it's an ear. That's what it is. Um. <laughs> no, even using ears doesn't work. Because you. what that would do is if you threw this project at a, at a developer, they would go, oh, it can, it can use ears. Where are the ears? It's like, no, no, it is the ears. It is ears. Okay, so this is, this is ears. It also has a sphere collider and it's gonna be a pretty big one, like 25. I, I could, maybe even 50? Yeah, pretty big. This one is the sight and it's gonna be 20, okay? Um, sense max angle, 45 is good. This one would be 360. It's like, I don't care where you are, you know. Um, I'm gonna hear you, you mother effer. So now we come back down to this little um, if statement. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do it all right here. If is not ears, then do all this stuff. Or, oh, uh, <laughs> Thomas, at what point should I release games with my studio's name? Just release games all the time. Don't stress about that kind of stuff. I don't care who you release it under. I don't care what your name is or your studio name. Do you want to know why I don't care? Because nobody cares. And that's me being nice. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Nobody cares. So just release release your games. Don't worry about this. The, and and I'm, I'm being um, kind of silly right now. Because By the way, thank you for the $5. It means a lot. But I'm trying to be helpful here. Just release games. Don't worry about your studio name. Don't worry about, ooh, what are people going to think about my name or what, are, what people think about my studio name. Just release games because nobody's thinking about you, okay? Just release games, release games, release games. doesn't matter if they're good or bad. All right, if is ears or is ears is true and uh, game manager dot player controller dot game object no 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 player controller uh has jumped or do i even need that isn't that redundant if that was there is that redundant <laughs> um is shooting is that a variable is shooting Yes, that's another variable. Or, hey, are you sprinting? I like the idea of being able to crouch, you know? Okay, there's a variable, is walking. Is that, does that exist? Oh man, I wish I had a variable, is walking. Because that would allow me to determine if we are, hmm. No, that's not true. 
because you could be standing still. So I need I need a variable that's like a velocity variable. Um, so let's take a look and see. Move speed. Let's type in speed. What do we got? Speed. Um, run start event. Speed equals speed. Float speed equals speed. Okay, good, good, good. Move uh, move vector equals forward. Player x z velocity. Okay. is running that's the variable yay okay so there's is running and then there's sprinting uh, or game manager dot player controller is running wait, 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 wait. so it looks like it's not public so let's find is running Let's make this public bull. Very good. Does that is that set? Let's see here. Is running. Where is it set? If is running is false, is running is true. Good, good, good. Hey, left shift. Get my down Run public. That's fine. Uh oh. Is running. Not so sure there's the sprinting variable and the running variable makes sense. What about sprinting? Are we sprinting? Not if the input sprint is true, but if we are actually sprinting. What? Okay, no, 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 I think we're good. So so running, running variable, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go back, I think it's fine. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, Raycaster here and is running here is currently still considered private, why? Is it is running or running? Is running, oh my word. Come on. Ugh, son of a snake. I just had you. Current document. Running. Okay, now I can't run? What? I had it and now it's gone. Where did it go? <laughs> it disappeared. I had it. Where was it? I guess it doesn't exist. Enemy sense right catcher. Enemy, I think maybe enemy had it. I don't know. I had it and now it's gone. Why why are there two player controller scripts here? What? There's two of them. That's not good. That's really, really bad. Let's see here. Let's go to the player controller himself. We need to figure out why there's two. Because that's not good. Player controller, open that up and take a look and see here. Run. Okay, there's no run in the actual one, so we don't need to worry about it. So let's go to this, and then all we're gonna worry about is sprinting right now. We're not gonna worry about crouching and all that stuff, um, and, and walking and all of that. Okay. If ears is false, or is ears is true, and all these other things here, okay? Very good. Sprinting, shooting, or has jumped. If that's happened, then we can do all this. Um, so you'll notice that what we'll do is make sure that ears variable is set to true. If it's set to true, then it's gonna check for those conditions to be met. That's the goal at least. Spoida. Spoida. There it is. Uh, enemy here. Is ears good? And we need to drag the sphere collider in. Drag the sphere collider in. Um, good. Drag it in here as well, just in case. Yeah, there we go. And then the yeah, we should be good. Okay, let's test it out.
What? What is happening? I I can't. Something's really wrong. I can't move past this. Whoa. What's going on? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> They're not set to trigger. Look at that, that's crazy. It's like a demon spider. That legitimately scared scared me. Um <laughs> There he goes. That was hilarious. Man, and that really freaked me out. That was so cool. Uh that made my day. Uh let's set these to trigger. Okay. All right, let's test it out. <laughs> That's funny. It was so weird. There he goes. Look how slow it is right now. What on earth? Well, that's not good. I feel like we should disable those trigger stays um, the moment that follow player is set to true. We're just going to di uh, disable this for now. You know, it, maybe we need it later. I, I don't think we do. Enabled equals false. And also, let's just get rid of that sphere collider. Sphere Collider dot enabled equals false. Yeah, frame rate is struggling bad. I hope it's not anything with the game. I'm, I'm hoping it's just the stream. So if I have the pistol and I shoot, there he is. He can't hear me. Now he can. Not bad. I, I think that works just fine. Now here's the benefit of this, guys. Let's do a little test. This is what I wanted to test today. Jebby, it's okay. Jebby. Let's do that really quick, okay? So let's move a spider into here, okay? So here's the, the real question. This spider, first I'm gonna apply, okay, he's good. If I put a spider in here, whoops, not there, right here. The test is he should not be at this door waiting to get me because he somehow heard me through the door. The Raycast is supposed to be able to help determine if he's even able to hear through that door. So we're gonna put him there. For the sake of safety, I'm gonna say he doesn't patrol, he just stays put. Now let's hit play. Let's just wait for all of our physics objects to... Why? Whoa. The enemy AI is killing performance. What? Surely not. Okay, let's take a look. That's a big problem, guys. If I disable those ears, what happens? faster so performance is getting killed by those ears why is that yep. 
The performance is getting killed by the ears. Woo! Man. Unity just died. Um let's let's check let's do a little theory test here. If I turn off those completely from all of the spiders, how's the frame rate? Much faster. So those are killing performance for some reason. Hmm. Those are destroying performance. It's on trigger stay. It has to be on trigger stay. That's the thing. Yeah, they might interact with too many layers. Um, but I don't see why that would be a problem. Hmm. We could take a look at the profiler, yeah. And that's unfortunate. We were so close. We were so close, guys. Oh my word. What on earth? Yeah, if I ran the profiler, it might just completely crash the project. What is happening? That is crazy. It's really unfortunate. I hate when this sh stuff happens. Yeah, we can try that. Hmm. Just thinking here, guys. All right, if I disable the raycasts, this one as well, and you go to this friend here, does it stop that madness? Where's the other spider? There he is. Look at that. I don't even know what to think about what's going on here. What? Gosh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm checking right here. See? It's like the check is right here. We could probably just swap them here, but it doesn't matter. That's what's crazy is why why would any information be running? Let me think here. Is anything happening in the enemy script here? That's crazy. So this it can't even get here. But so this is killing performance. Okay, so you're saying do this. If other dot compare tag plus 
player. It does matter. I don't know why that would matter. Just return if it's not there. So shouldn't it be this? Yeah. I guess I could do compare tag here like that. Why can't I just do else? You know? Can I just do else? Yeah. Come on, Thomas. So it just be else. If it is, then we're gonna be good to go. Yep, is that it? Yeah. Um I still don't see why that would that would change performance all that much. I really don't. Um I don't, I don't, personally, I don't think it's going to work. Ah, yes, else isn't needed. You're correct, you're correct, you're correct. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, you guys are right. Good job. We're all learning today, so many wonderful things. It's still gonna be slow. Something is happening. Let's be sure. Let's be sure. The enemy site and enemy here, Raycasters, if I remove them, what happens? It's still slow. Boy, something's Oh, nope, 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 nope. I just turned them off. Hold on. Okay, it's much faster now. So those are killing performance. Those are killing performance, so we need to figure out why. Something is happening in this script that is killing performance. Is it the script? It, it could be, um, it could be, is it, wait, 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 let's think here. I think there might be a, something going on with the, the enemy script here. Let's take a look. It's definitely the layer. You think it needs to be one layer? Let's check here. Um, yeah, it, it should immediately return. If it's not the player, done. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, let's check, let's, let's try disabling the script. That's a good idea. Disable the script, that's a good trick. Um, so let's test. Okay, so it's not the script. This is good news. Wait, 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 nope, something happened. It sped up. Okay, so it is the script. Snape. So strange. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Why did it disable? Hold on.
No, I agree that that the trigger stay is a problem. I just don't know a way around it. You know, I don't know a way around it. If we turn off the script there, that let's see if that works. And I'm only going to turn on one spider because I don't need both. Okay, we don't need any of that stuff. This is crazy. How how horrible performance became. Where's the other spider? Are you chilling over here? Yeah, you're over here. Select and then delete. Let's put one right in the smack dab in the center over here. And there we go. Whoops. So it looks like. All right, we've got the enemy sight raycasters still enabled, but the script is turned off. It's still pretty slow. Okay. So I think that what we need to do is we need to create a new layer. Okay, that's official. And it's gonna be um, enemy senses. And then we have a controller which is set to player. So let's try this out first. I just wanted to make sure that it was indeed the script and it is. All right, so enemy senses will not collide with the player and that should do it. And let's just go to the enemy sight raycaster. We're gonna set it to enemy senses. No, 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 it will collide with the player. That's the only thing it's gonna collide with, Thomas. Um, go to the physics here. The only thing it collides with is the player. It does not collide with anything else. Ding, 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 dong. There we go. All right, let's try it out and see if that speeds things up. Nope. Still slow. Well, no. I think we're actually okay. It's sped up. So if I put two, what happens? And does it even work still? That's the question. What? Oh, the script is disabled. All right, let's, uh, is it? Is the script disabled? Yeah, <laughs> because it just worked. Layers should not make a difference. Yeah. Alrighty then. Let's turn on both of these guys. No, it seemed like it was a lot faster. It's a lot faster. I think. Yeah, we're, we're at about uh, 27, 30 frames per second. So it's it's slower than I'm used to. Um, let's, let's see what happens when we turn off the spider completely, okay? If we turn off the spider completely, and the frame rate goes way up, then we know we have a problem. Okay, so frame rate's about the same. And we need to bake our occlusion culling as well. I realize we haven't done that. So we can do that. So it looks like everything's, I think that fixed it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, so that's one, one option as well. Uh, public void. That doesn't make any sense though. There, there's no reason to do that. Because, um, well maybe.
So you're saying public void on trigger enter. And I don't know, guys. I don't know why my frame rate's so low, even without the spider. So you're saying um, uh, player near. We could just do near player, <laughs> something like that, and that's true. And then you're saying uh, you're saying if near player, and then it does all this stuff. So you're saying. Yeah, that's, I figured as much. It's basically the same. It's because it's looking for the compare tag. Um, so I'm not so sure that's going to do anything. No, you can't. You can't change it to enter. Um, although, there's another option here. Ah, that's another option. Another option is the stay. You don't need the stay necessarily. You just need the enter. Um, and what that would do is that would begin the process of the raycast looking. Um, so that's another option. I don't get frustrated when you guys are helping. Site layer mask prop property has default in it. It should. It should. Because the walls are set to default. The boxes are set to default. So we want the raycast to hit those. Otherwise it won't hit the player. Otherwise it'll hit, go straight through and it'll hit the player. No, that's not what it is. All right, first let's go to our occlusion calling and do some baking. I get to make my video uh, video game off my favorite Marvel or DC character. Only DC characters, I don't like Marvel. Um, and um, Batman. All right, let's take a look here. First off, <laughs> uh, my frame rate should be much higher than it is currently. We're looking at a really slow frame rate. It's crazy. It's like really bad. Okay, there we go. It's like now above 30. But when I look over there, it's slow. Okay, it's not bad now. So let's go ahead and turn on those spiders, see what kind of, you know what's funny, a lot of you are saying analyze your code, analyze the code, analyze the code. No, it's something that happened today because yesterday we had 20 spiders hanging out and it was everything was fine. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's see here. Good, turned on, turned on, good, good, good. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll do GPU instances another day. Okay, okay, so the frame rate's basically the same. Let's have him follow. But yes, you're right, we do need to do the GPU instances soon. <gasps> he can't go downstairs. There he goes, come on, buddy. You scared of the stairs? Okay. All right. No, the, 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 the startup time, all that stuff, that I'm not worried about any of that stuff right now. Right now we're getting the core done. All right, we're gonna place another spider and just see what happens to our frame rates. Oh, 
Okay. So it looks like it's about the same as what it was. Um, so they're, they're not causing much problems anymore. So adding that uh, physics layer actually helped a lot. Okay, so they were stuck on this guy. So I believe the candlestick we need to have carving the mesh. Any other issues they had? Okay, so let's test out what we were gonna test out. All right. There we go. Let's fly on in here and pull a spider on in. See what he's got. See if he works. So the test is he should not be at this door. He, he should not know I exist with our new system. And to, to be sure, he will not patrol. All right, ready? Guys, the reason why it's so slow at the start is because there's a lot of physics objects that are appearing in the scene. And we're gonna have those, um, we're gonna have rooms, sort of loadable rooms, but right now we don't. There he is, okay. So if I shoot, or even, there he is, good, okay. Good. All right, so, so things aren't terribly slow um, relative to what they were yesterday. We've got a lot of batching to do, and we also need to batch the scenes together, the rooms and stuff. Um, let's set the patrol time um, to, to be correct, so about four seconds. All right. Um, all right, so we're going to go into the actual spider um, and we're gonna go to patrol time pause time um, four seconds is good and hopefully that'll randomize a little bit for us the also the shadow decal is a problem you can see it's on its body so let's fix that really quick whoopsie Why? Whoa, that was a lot more than I thought it was. There we go. And crank up the opacity. And hopefully, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, guys. So everything seems to be working fine. Um, you know, it's not the greatest frame rate. And we're going to have to figure out what's going on here. I can tell you one thing. I know exactly one of the reasons why it's slow. Look at this. Look at all those physics objects. There's a ton of physics objects that are just hanging out. Also, let's see here. If we go to our occlusion and the yep, visualization, it's it's great, like the renderer isn't rendering a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of physics objects that are. So the the physics objects really they need to be set to kinematic by default. Um so we'll need to figure that out.
I agree with you that on trigger enter would be better. But the problem is, is if the player enters the trigger zone, this is what we need to solve. If the player enters the trigger zone, but they're behind a pillar, the spider will shoot the ray cast, it'll hit the pillar, and then it will never check again. Does that make sense? So it's something to, to think about. So I'm trying to trying to think, is there a way to avoid it? Um, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, the navigation. We have an issue with the navigation. So the steps cannot be walked on. So we need to increase the, where are we? Where are we? Right here. These steps cannot be walked on. Uh, it could be that they're not static. Let's take a look here. They really should be static, and they're not. So let's go to Inspector. They're set to static. So why, my friends, can we not walk on it? I think it has to do with the slope. So let's take a look here. Bake. Uh, max slope is 45 degrees. I feel like this is less than 45 degrees. So not so sure why that's a problem. Does anybody know? I think it maybe it's this. Let's see here. That's set to static. Hmm. Is it too too narrow, perhaps? If the spider is currently following the player, you could do a quick return. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could try that. Or enemy dot awake or follow let's see what it, what it is yeah that's a good idea um so this follow player script what does that do current state equals ai state aim speed controller add enemies following one okay yeah i mean we could do something like that so you're saying um enemy dot current state I mean it's that's a private variable that's an option let's try it But I'm trying to figure out these stairs. Does anybody know why these stairs aren't working? There's a lot of problems that popped up today. It's kind of a little B of a day. That's okay. I, it, it seems like the agent radius is, no, I mean, that's not, it's, it's more than enough. Show nav mesh height. Hmm. For some reason we can't, Let's see, what's the problem here, Harry? For some reason, they're not gonna walk down this friend. Is it, let's see here. It's a mesh collider. There's two mesh colliders. Um, and it, I think it needs to be convex. I think that one needs to be convex. Ah, yes, I think it needs to be convex. Is that correct, guys? Maybe I'm wrong, but it should be regardless. Um, so that's good. Yeah, for some reason that's not baking, huh? I'm learning so much.
Bom, bom, chico, bom, 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 chico, bom, 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 chico. All right, all right, all right. So what are you saying? Oh, man. It needs to be convex, but it still doesn't show up in the nav mesh. If the... I'm, I'm confused as to why that's a problem. Why is that a problem? Yeah, we might need to increase the slope, you know. We could try that. Yeah, it's not working. That's weird. I don't know why. Is it because, man, there's so many questions right now about this stupid ramp. Hmm. The step height, we could try the step height maybe. Okay, that, that kinda did it. I don't know why. I think it's because it's looking at the mesh, not the collider. Is that what it is? It's looking at the mesh, not the collider. Interesting. Okay. I don't know why that is. Hmm. Well. There it is. <laughs> I need to bake again. Uh, max slope. Let's do 45. It looks like it has to do with... This is something I ha I'm learning about um, nav mesh. It's, it's not necessarily the collider that it cares about. It's the mesh. Which is strange to me. Because I'm like, why can't I just... Hey, I have an idea. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Is that a path? Is it, it's called like a nav mesh path or connector? Nav mesh, mesh, off mesh link. Navigation area walkable. I don't know. Oh, so this is sort of an area they can walk on. Bidirectional, activated, auto update positions. Cost override, what is that? A positive value here modifies the cost of the link that is normally given by navigation. A positive value here modifies the cost of the link. I don't get it. Start and end date, uh, the transform representing the start position of the link and the end position of the link. Okay. The preview AI package. Gives you the option. Oh, interesting. So there, there's a new package that's uh. Let's see here. Oh, interesting. Okay, we could try the links here. I don't want it to work differently right now. What do you want? You're driving me nuts. For those of you who are asking if we figured out the, the performance issue, yeah, we figured out the performance issue. <laughs> Put a cube on top of the stairs at an appropriate angle to cover the stairs, then bake the navigation, then set the cube active to false or delete it. Sounds like a pain in the butt. Um, what's what's this uh, off mesh link do? Curious about that. You know, I 
off mesh link. It's a place for things to jump, but huh. Okay, I need it. I'm going to do a Google search. Stairs nav mesh not baking. Nav mesh won't bake stairs. I have a huge problem while baking the stairs through my nav mesh and you blah blah blah. I solved the issue by reducing the agent radius and rebaking the nav mesh. Okay, that might be it. Agent radius. Let's do that and try it. Oh, that's going to make things a lot more difficult on the computer. But we'll try it. There we go. So it looks like they the spider should be able to walk on this, although I do wonder why. Hmm. Let's try that and see what we get. Oh gosh. Okay. So it looks like it has to do with a step height. They have to jump down each step. <laughs> that would be a pain. Well, let's do a uh, step height. Um increase that to like one I definitely don't want them to be able to jump on top of like a box so I think 0.8 maybe and then click uh, also the agent radius it was 0.5 let's do 0.2 and then bake it out and see what we get this might be good because um, oh look we're almost there it's slowly filling in I think we just need to do a stupid height of like three maybe or uh oh step height I did the wrong thing goodness me I don't even know what I'm doing anymore try making the agent radius point one we just did that They're just scared of stairs. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's try a step height of 20, see what we get here. I wonder why it's doing that. Tiny little radius, let's see what we get with a super tiny radius. Hmm. Oh, now it's really going to take a while. It's 2.1.
Yeah, they have a nav link. We might have to do that. I'm going to go back in time significantly here before I screwed everything up. Um, okay. So this whole little nav link thing, off mesh link, I think what we want to do is have like two game objects. Um, so you have an empty game object here. This is the theory at least. I, I don't know if, if this is how we do this. I hate Unity's AI system to be completely honest with you guys. It's just stupid. Pretty frustrating. So there's the start nav mesh link. And I assume that you do something like this, the end nav mesh link. Pretty frustrated today, to be honest with you guys. Trying to be happy, but I'm, I'm pretty frustrated. Not that Unity is doing anything wrong, I guess. I just, it's too, it's sometimes certain things are too clunky in Unity. Why do we have those? Huh. Okay. I'm just gonna try this one here. maybe actually yeah there's a link right there look you can see it it's like a jump huh An invisible plane on the stairs, huh? Yay! Ha <laughs> ha! Thomas wins! I told you guys to listen to me. <sighs> okay, so we'll apply... <laughs> no, we're not doing a plane. We're doing what I just did. Because I'm right. For once. For once, I was right. Um... <laughs> So we'll, we're going to apply that. So if we go here, uh, we have this whole like off mesh link. I'm going to remove it. And thank God all these stairs are actually... <sighs> Stop it. Paste component values. There we go. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Whoa, Unity. What in the world? There it is. So there's a storage stairs. Um, so you just paste that component as new. Yeah, it's set to walkable, so it doesn't jump. It just, but it's fast. He'll just like, it basically they just tween. It's silly. They just tween from one thing to the next. Kind of, kind of stupid. Why? Snorlax. <sighs> All right, so that works great. Um, the same is true with these stairs here. These mother effing stairs need to be fixed as well. So we go mansion stairs, paste component as new. <gasps> Ooh. And then what we do is we go to these little friends here, and we're going to make a prefab out of them actually. So we can use over and over and over again. So we're gonna go inside of this here and we're gonna say, we're gonna create nav mesh links. 
This is going to be a link start, link top, and then this is link bottom. Okay, we'll make a prefab out of that. Um, and this is probably going to be just in the architecture uh, or other. It's, is it a core item? What is it? I think it's an other item. So let's just scroll on down. Our channels are the bomb. Do you have any time management tips, tricks? Loved your video about Newgrounds accounts and finding your forte. You inspire. Thank you very much. That means a lot, Story Sparks. Darn it. I got to go all the way back up. How do you, why are you guys watching me? This is so boring. I'm just going to stick it in the core. Okay, so that's nav mesh links. Copy that. Uh, and then go to these stairs here. Do I have any tips on management? Time management tips? Consider your hourly rate. That's my, my biggest one. Even if you're not even paying yourself, what's your hourly rate? I think that's really important for people to remember that you do have a value um, and it shouldn't be taken lightly. Taken, not taken, taken lightly. That's interesting about nav mesh links, isn't it? It's a new, new thing that we've found. I'm the only dev streaming. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your options are so horribly limited. <laughs> All right, that should do it, donkey. Let's bake. I'm hungry. I want to vape. Whenever I'm stressed, I think about vaping. I don't do that anymore. At least for a day. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see if they follow. Now that we know how to do all this stuff, it hopefully won't take so long. Gordon, it, I told myself I wouldn't vape all of 2021, and I didn't, or at least like, you know, sometimes. And then once 2022 hit, I was free, and so I just went hard. So that's what happened. Look at this. This is really fun. You can kill spiders with this. He comes big boy. What? I think there's drawers in the way there, yeah. Oh good, okay, here he comes. Well, that didn't work. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Unsure why that's, uh, why the stairs aren't working there. It's a strange thing.
Well, guys, I think the main issue we had there is uh, the staircase for some reason. The off mesh link just wasn't, it's not working. Um, let's turn off isometric mode and also go to shaded wireframe or just wireframe. Let me take a look here. So there's the collision. And then here's our, hey, hey, maybe it has to do with the, uh, that they're parented maybe, you know? Um, that could be it. Let's test the other one really quick. And make sure that that didn't screw it up. Place the links at a higher height. A plane and then hide the mesh. I don't think that that works, but we'll try it. That one works. He can't come through the door. So many issues to sort out. It's really frustrating. I'll try your little plane method. Okay, I'll try it. That might be do be the solution actually. I think you guys might have been right all along. You guys are always right. Seriously. Thank you for your help. I'm whooped, I'm sorry, I'm just being so boring. But I wanna make sure you guys see us fix this and so that we don't have to worry about it, you know. You could even flip it upside down, you know? I think it should probably be like that. Uh, set it to local here. What I'm gonna do is actually Will that do, my donkey friends? So there's that. If you flip it upside down, you may get stuck in it. All right, so we're gonna call this quad, uh, we're gonna put it in the architecture. We're gonna call it quad, well, no, no, we're gonna call it stair quad. We'll see, we'll see. Um, the nav mesh links, I'm gonna disable them for now. And I'm gonna bake the scene. Because right now, currently, you like, notice that you can't see it. That's so annoying. Bake it. Just bake the scene. <sighs> Maybe it is. What is that? That's my quad. Son of a... A little above the stairs should do. I don't understand, because I've had this work before. You know, and it's like everything's fine. And I never had to do this crap. So you're saying like this? Mm. 
<laughs> it has to be static. Oh my goodness. Uh, I was still justified in getting angry because I feel like I deserve to be able to get mad. Okay? So there you go. <laughs> Gotta be static, Thomas. Um, duh. Hit apply and let's see. Nope. Wait, yes, 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 yes. yes. Let's take a look here. <gasps> Wrong. Maybe it needs to be a have a little bit more room for narrowness. You know? Maybe it needs to be a little bit narrower. Put a put the plane a little bit higher. Bake. Okay, okay. So we're close. We're really, really close. So for some reason it has to be like perfectly above. So it really just has to connect perfectly, which is really a shame. You know, I hate that. What, way higher? What are you talking about? Yeah, that didn't fix it. Step height to two. Okay. So step height might be the but be the thing here. Although that you know obviously is really screwed up right there. So let's change step height to be a little bit higher. Maybe one. Okay, there we go. Oh, so close. So I don't think that this is. Uh, Ah, yes. Okay, we're close. We're close. So we're going to set the step height to 1. But we're going to go back in time really quick. Okay. So there's that. Um, step height. Okay, so we're going to set the step height to 1. Bake. Okay. So that's f close, but no cigar. Um, and now let's just double check really quick. Nothing that they can climb on. Okay. Now the quad. If it was like right here and we baked, what would happen? I think we're good. Am I right? I think we're good. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. Okay, so what we need to do, gosh, is uh, this friend here, the stair quad. We need to move it up for all of them. Like this. And you could probably get away with just rotating a little bit more. Maybe a little bit higher. I'm gonna copy that really quick, the transform values. And then go back and then paste them on this one just because. There we go. And let's try to bake really quick. Let's see what happens. Okay. I think we're good. What was that called? It's called quad. It's not. Def it's definitely not called quad. It's called stair quad, like far quad, but stair quad. Okay, that stair should be good. Let's go run around the, all the other areas and see. Stairs look good. The nav mesh is occurring, Harry. Guys, thanks for your help. That was a good idea. Always good ideas from you guys. Seriously, always helpful. That's a beautiful nav mesh. Wow. I love that. What the heck? What am I even looking at? I think we need to turn off the nav mesh link, perhaps. That is so weird. So weird. Remove, delete. Take a look again. Bake. 
Why is that happening, Harry? You heard what Professor McGonagall said. Look at what the f Oh man, that's so annoying. You don't even know how to fly. That's fine. I don't know why that's happening. My brain has been fried for the re basically about an hour ago. Good. There's some weird shapes happening every once in a while. Um, it, like what? Do you want to know something? It seems like it's working even without the plane because I just needed to increase the step height. I think that's all we needed to do. So yeah, I think that's all we needed to do guys is just increase the freaking step height. Man, that's annoying on my part because I feel like such a moron. Yeah, it looks like the step height is fine. Yeah. So it looks like the way nav mesh works, just for clarity here, guys, is if there's a static mesh, it doesn't need a collider. It just it just works and it averages out the the, the size and, and that's that. So overall, I think we're good. The only problem here is we need to go back to the stairs and remove that plane. The plane is actually potentially, potentially causing problems. Let's delete that and bake again. All we needed to do was set the step height to freaking one. But this, this is weird. I don't know what this is. Look at that. Is it because of this? It might be because of that. If I remove or even make it, yeah, if I remove that, let's try it out. No. Man, isn't that crazy, guys? I don't know what that is. That's weird. Is there something there? Yeah, I don't know. Boy, I don't know. I gotta figure out what that is. It's such a strange little phenomenon. Okay. Well, anyway, um, let's go explore all of our other nav meshes. So that's just like the one place it's happening, oddly enough. Everything else is pretty clean, so I'm not too unhappy, actually. Let's hit play and see if them spiders follow me around. It might be the top of the wall, yeah. Good. That's all it took. It was just the step height. I'm learning, guys. I'm still learning 3D, so don't get mad. Hey, he just jumped for some reason. Okay, let's see what this little big boy over here does. Good. 
good. Can you come through the doors, my friend? Okay, they can't come through doors. So we'll need to definitely figure out that. I'll probably make their legs smaller. see how how well this works So the main problem that we've got is, is there, oh, them getting stuck on doors. So I think that's about it. Um, it the, the, the thing I don't understand about Navmesh is the spider has a width, right? So if we go to the spider here, He's got this sort of circular width. But, and he's also got a capsule collider. Mmm. It seems like it's a little big, huh? But, you know, if we made the spider variant 0 0.3 by 0.3 by 0.3, or 0.25 by 0.25 by 0.25, and hit apply, I feel like everything would just solve, the problem would be solved. And so I may consider just making their legs smaller and call it a day. Um, despite the fact that their legs do look fun, I'm not in the mood to make a ton of changes to this game. Um, what am I saying? I'm not in the mood to try and tweak every little thing about this game like those doors and stuff. There we go. Why y'all stuck? You can't get over that ledge, can you? Why is that? So many little things. So many little things. I don't know why, man. Yeah, y'all should be able to get over that just fine. Is that a box collider? Oh, well. So that floor piece is just gonna be a problem. Darn it. But you know what? They should be able to walk over that. I don't know why that's a problem. Hmm. Let's take a look here. <sighs> I don't know why he's not able to walk over that.
You can walk over that. Why can't you walk over that? Huh. That's so weird. Huh. Yeah, so they're gonna get stuck on these little edges here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, hey, let's double check this really quick. Can you put spiders in the grates? We shall double check and see. Man, nav mesh is a kind of a pain in the butt, I'll be honest. I didn't expect it to be, but it is. If this is a, uh, it was static, why is it static? It shouldn't be. Why are you static? Let's try and bake. I wanna see what's going on here. So that is a great closed. It's set to static. It really shouldn't be. I'm surprised it even works. That's crazy. Huh. I guess you could disable it, but it doesn't need to be static. Yeah, that doesn't need to be static at all. Hmm. I didn't know that was static. Well, let's uh, disable it. And uh, this is going to be a nav mesh obstacle. I mean, let's let's just do the navigation really quick, though. Turn it off. Take a look again. Are these static? They are. Okay. So we this should be something you can navigate into. So I'm assuming it is the height of the agent. So we're going to do 0.4. Hit bake. Okay. So the theory is that our agents can't walk there though. Man, that's crazy. Why is that? Is it because of this? It might be. That should be convex. Wait, wait, wait. What if you just turn that off? Hold on. Okay, those are all mesh colliders. Those should be box colliders. I'm still figuring out this, uh, this whole system here. Is this a box collider? What? Oh boy, what what happened? I think I'm losing steam, guys. We're gonna make all these uh, convex. Well, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh boy, I'm not gonna. Yeah, my my face cam face cam died right alongside my with my brain for today, guys. Thank you for joining me on today's live stream. We got some stuff done. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Get over here. Get down. <coughs> hey, thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below. It's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which was really cool. 
This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean a ton to me. Hit subscribe. And also, this is important. Hit that notification bell. Here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, you can watch me make my next game and let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have. And you might just show up, your chat might just show up in the next video that I upload. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye. I love you too.